Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create MIDI clips for your library in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is if you want to reuse any saved MIDI performances to use again in another project. Like for me, I tend to do this for drums. MIDI performances of a drum part I use very often. Let's take a look. I've already set up a drum track with the Satala drum machine on the track with some samples already on there. So let's say I wanted to perform a snare part I wanted to use again in different projects. Let's create a new MIDI item, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just drag from here to here. Then we can double click it to open up the MIDI editor. And we can see down here the sounds we could trigger with our MIDI notes. Let's go to the snare, and on beat two, let's draw a note and do the same on beat four, beat two again, and beat four. So now we have a typical snare drum part that we could use in other songs. So to save this as a separate MIDI file, let's close the MIDI editor and just select this MIDI item, go to the file menu and choose export project MIDI. And that opens up this dialog where we could save our MIDI as files. Let's choose entire project and just selected items. We could choose where to save this file on a hard drive. Let's browse into this folder that I named Sound Library. This is where I keep all my favorite samples. And let's create a folder in here for any MIDI clips we want to create. New folder. Let's name it MIDI Files or MIDI Clips. And then let's save the file named snare on the two and four and save it. Hit OK. And I'll save that file right here. So now I can clear this MIDI item, go to View, open the Media Explorer, go over here to my sound library and find that folder, MIDI Files, right click it, add the shortcut. To the list, then it'll show up over here. And here's that file we just created snare B2 and 4. And we can hear it right from here. And drag it in to our track like this. And now we have a drum part right here. Of course, we might want to edit it later. But it's a great starting point for most typical drum parts. Let's open it up and let's add a few more parts. Let's go to my claps and I tend to add a clap on beat four and another one over here and here, which sounds like this. If we wanted to save that, let's delete my snare, right click. To select them all and delete it. Now we can save this MIDI item as claps. Select it, go to the file menu, export project MIDI. Let's save it to that same folder. We'll name it claps two and four. Save it. And now it's saved right here. So if you want to import it, just open up the Media Explorer. Go to the MIDI files and choose it right here. Just drag it in and drop it on that track. If we want to add the snare as well, drag it in and drop it in the same spot. The Reaper asks us how we prefer to drag it in. We can replace the clap, make a new take, or overlap both items. Let's choose that. And now, we have our snare and our claps in this project.
but they're separate items, but we can glue them, double click to select them both and right click, glue items. Now they're both in the same item. Double click it to open up the MIDI editor and they're both in this item. Let's do the same thing with the hi-hat. Let's use painting to paint an eighth note part, all control on the PC, option command on the Mac, and just drag it. Let's create an accented part by selecting all the hats, open up our filter by typing F, set filter from selection, and change it to the second eighth note, and repeat it on quarter notes. So if we set the selection, it just selects every other note. So if we want to create an accented part, we could adjust the velocity right here. And if we want to save the hi-hat, let's clear the snare and the claps. Let's add an open hat over here. Delete this one. And we can save that part the same way. Select it, go to File, Export Project MIDI, save it right here, give it a name, save it, and it saves it right there. Let's delete this, go to the Media Explorer, and choose that part. And just drag it right in. And now we could add in the claps and overlap them and the snare. And now we have all three of the parts. Now it's important to note we can import this into any tempo. Let's clear this, change our tempo to 130, for example, and do the same thing with the same part, as our MIDI doesn't care what tempo is in our project. It'll adapt to that new tempo. So you can drag in the hi-hat, the claps, and the snare. And they're all going to play at that tempo. Now for the kick, it's going to be different for every song. So don't bother saving it each time. Double click it. Now we can manually add a kick part right here. And just like that, I created my part by bringing in save MIDI items or MIDI clips that I put in my sound library. And this is going to work with any MIDI parts you create. Could be shakers, tambourine, any kind of percussion or drum parts you're going to reuse in different songs. And again, it doesn't matter which tempo we use. It's going to adapt automatically. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create MIDI clips for your library in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. You're killing me, Smalls. Mm -hmm.